Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to another episode of Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're up to what appears to be a boss, so I guess we might as well just deal with this thing. Oh, yeah, I should probably deep protection first. That's generally a good idea. Hello. Uh, oh. Climb Frida to me, please. Cast the home up seat. The flame flickering once again. Soon blood surge. I can see it. Feel it. It looks like the basin from the original Dark Souls when you put all the Lord Souls in to open the gate to the kiln. Fret not, Father. We have no need of thy flail. Of course. Of course she's the boss. I called it, it earlier. It's only the flame quivering at misguided ash. And of course she's got Priscilla's Please sight. avert thine eyes. I will snuff out these ashes for good. All right, as expected. I mean, hey, you're basically a bloodborne boss, so I. Oh, shoot. Where are the footprints? Oh, what? Return from whence thou camest. They're supposed to be Furious footprints. That's not working with Priscilla. <sighs> Piece of crap. Well, we're going to be stuck here for a while. I mean, assuming that that fire is even working anymore. Eh, well, it is. That's a positive development, I suppose. Alright. Oh, wait, I should get rid of the torch, too. I don't need this. I'm not bleeding right now. Nor will I be. But I'm saying, it's a Bloodborne-style boss, so, you know, let's... I mean, it's a Bloodborne-style build, so it seems appropriate that it would actually work fairly well to have the crossbow here. Well, particularly that side dodge thing. That's pretty cool. Ah. Uh, if I could just hit them. I mean, it's cool, but it's also a pain in the butt. Okay, good. What? Oh, is that a stamina? Okay. Where are you? What? Ah, uh, shoot. I don't know how to avoid that. It's like a weird timing thing. What? <sighs> Come on, just. That's how it works. How am I supposed to dodge that? I can't even see it coming. Okay, so she's jumping. Oh, there we go. I think I managed to get the timing down, more or less. And that's stage one done. What's stage two? Because you know there's going to be multiple stages. There just has to be. This is a Dark Souls 3 boss fight. And for all I know, it's the final boss fight. It could be three stages. 
Could be four stages, who knows? But it's at least two. Oh, I see. So then it awakens this other thing. Well, what does it do? Man, it's a weird thing to do with the blood. Okay. Oh, of course, now she's embered up, because that's what you do in the second phase. That's where Antel is, eh? A nice little fire nice thing going on here. I gotta say I dig it. Ah no. Okay, so this fire takes care of frostbite, but ow! Hurts. <sighs> Leave us be, Ashen One. Thou art the Lord of Londor, and have thine own subjects to guide. Leave us be, Ashen One. Thou art the Lord of Londor, and have thine own subjects to guide. Return from whence thou camest. Leave us be, Ashen One. Return. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be. Leave us be. Return, return from whence thou camest. Leave us be, Ashen One. Return, 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 return from whence thou camest. Leave us be, return, leave us be. Return, return, return from whence thou camest. Leave us, leave us be, leave us be, leave us be, leave us be, Ashen One. Return, return, leave us be, leave us. Return, return, return. Leave us be. Return, return. Leave us be. Leave us be.
Leave us be. Leave us be, Ashen One. Return. Leave us be. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be. Return from. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be. Leave us be. Leave us be. Leave us be. Return from whence thou camest. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be. Return. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be. Return. Leave us be. Leave us be. Leave us be, Ashen One. Leave us be.
I did it! I finally did it! It- I don't even know how many tries it took me. I'm guessing 150 or some odd. But I did it. Man, that was annoying. But it's done. It is totally done. We can move on to figuring out what this old gives me, which is most likely that scythe. But what does the scythe say? Does it talk about Priscilla? It's going to talk about Priscilla. I just know it will. Because Priscilla is, of course, the character of the painting. She is the painting waifu. All right. And Bloodless Ashes, what do you have for me? No, 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 no. Yes! Here we are. So the sister Frida. Frida's great scythe. Actually, how many do I have? Rose of Ariandel and... F okay, that's it. So, Frida's Great Scythe. It is a, a... A Reaper. Okay, I guess that's a unique type of weapon. What does it do? Or have? Or say? A Great Scythe, wielded by Sil Sister Elfried with a curved blade thinly coated by the painted world frost that easily breaks the Guard of Shields. In the painting, the scythe is a symbol of a long-lost home, possibly explaining Elfried's preference for it. Skills Elfrida's Stance. Conjure a magic bladed support scythe into the left hand while the great scythe remains in the right, a stance derived from Elfrida's former swordsmanship. Use normal attack to leap forward and swing twice, or strong attack to coat the earth in running frost. Holy crap! So, you basically get Black Flame Elfrida form. Nice. And the other one's the Rose of Ariandel, which is a whip. Hey! A whip that actually looks like it has a decent physical. I mean, it's not great, but it's also an upgraded, so... That's new. And spell... Oh, does it cast spells? Probably does. A flail used by the bulbous father of the painted world to shred his own skin, producing blood to appease the flame. Both a weapon and a miracle catalyst. Ariandel, being the restorer of the painted world, knew that it was painted with blood, and only blood could protect the secret. The skill is awakening. Viol violently flail oneself to trigger an awakening that temporarily boosts the strength of miracles, just as the good father used the rose himself. Okay. Self-flagellation. So, double cool scythe or self-flagellation? I mean, the young Catholic boy in me says self-flagellation, so I think we're going to go with the scythe. Oh, wait, what's my intelligence? <gasps> ha! I could use it if I wanted to. We're getting the scythe. So, what? Oh, yeah, wait, I just have it. It's a thing that exists. I want to try this thing out. So, scythe, scythe. So, it looks like it's the ice scythe primarily. And, of course, you can two-hand it, and you have the scythe and everything. I mean, it's not really the character. I mean, this isn't really the character for this, but it's pretty cool. I might hold on to it. I mean, obviously, I have it. I might as well hold on to it. And if I do that... Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> okay, that is... So you basically get her whole combo. And it doesn't cost any magic either. It's just stamina. You just... Get her stuff. You get all her stuff! Yes, that is... There we go. That's what I wanted out of... Well, basically every boss, but particularly actually what I wanted out of the princes. Still, I got it in one of these at some point. This is pretty cool. But yeah, you get her black... I mean, it's not quite the black flame thing, but you get it pretty close. I like it. I really like it. And then on some, it's just, yeah, slashing. Nice. Okay, well that's cool. I don't think I'll hold on to it as a mainline weapon, but if I have any extra Titanite, I might as well upgrade it, because who knows? It might have a use. I don't know. Do I even have any of that stuff? But yeah, this is cool. I like it. I don't have any Titanite scales. I could probably purchase Titanite scales. I won't do that on camera. If I do it at all. Actually, well, you know what? Might as well. What else am I going to buy? There we go. Titanite scales. And I'm not going to level up, so might as well get Titanite scales. Well, anyway, let's go back, because while this is a blind playthrough, in the time it took me to actually beat Sister Frida... In the time it took me to beat Sister Frida, I, I was given a bit of a spoilery bit. 
There was that woman who was hanging out in the church. She apparently talks about some stuff. So let's go talk to her a little bit. Because apparently there was a ladder I missed in the church. And apparently that's a thing I have to worry about. Because ladders lead to... Lead to places. They can lead to really good places, too. Or at least get you out of trouble. Where does this ladder lead? It leads to an attic. And... That woman. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Sorry about that. I got really sick of the boss talking to me every single time I died. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting of a cold, dark, and very gentle place so that it might make a home for someone someday. My thanks, I prefer so that. Well, that's nice. I'm trying to see if there's anything like a hint that it's the painting of Ariamis. Because if it is, that. Yeah. Yeah, that would just be. I don't know, that'd be a little indulgent, honestly. I I mean, it'd be interesting, it'd just be a little indulgent. So, with that in mind... Oh yeah, I've got humanity now. With that in mind, I think we should close this off. There is one more thing lower down here, in the depths of the painting, but we'll deal with that in the next episode.